All right, so my name is Gustavo. I'll be performing my air brake and in cab inspection, starting with my six items. Number one is my seatbelt. I want to make sure my seatbelt is not ripped or torn and the buckles and unbuckles properly. Number two, my gear shifter is in neutral. Number three, my steering wheel is not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. Number four, my clutch, no more than two inches of play. Number five, my brake knobs are pulled out. And number six is my air gauge. I have a primary and a secondary. I'll be working on my primary throughout the whole inspection. And I gotta be below 80 to do a safe start. Right now, I'm at 40 PSI. Okay, so now I can do my safe start. Clutch in, double check I'm in neutral, and start. Slowly release the clutch. If you release it too fast, it's an automatic fail. Okay? So now for my first test is my cutout. The cutout is when the governor turns off the compressor. It should be no more than 140 PSI. The performance test is gonna accelerate 12 to 15 RPMs until my compressor stops. Stopped at 125, making this a good test because I didn't go over 140. All right, so now it's my uh, my cutting. The cutting is when the governor turns on the compressor, and it should be no less than 100 psi. To perform the test, I'm gonna fan my brake once. Wait till my needle stabilizes. Once it stabilizes, I wait 15 seconds if it's, and I see if I gain any pressure. Okay, stabilize at 115, my time starts now. Okay, 12 seconds in, I started gaining pressure, making this a good test, because I didn't go below 100. So now I go to my max again. 12, I rev the engine 12 to 15, until my air brake stops, I mean my, my gauge stops. Okay, I reached my max. So now I'm gonna secure my vehicle. Clutch in, put it in gear, turn it off, leave it in the on position, slowly release the clutch, and push in my parking, and push in the emergency. Now my, my truck is secure. So my next test is apply leakage. I'm gonna hold the service brake for 60 seconds, and I should not lose more than four pounds of pressure in 60 seconds. To perform a test, I'm gonna hold my service brake, wait till my needle stabilizes. Once it stabilizes, I read the gauge and my time starts. Okay, I'm at 91 PSI. Time starts now. Okay, 30 seconds in, I'm listening for air leaks inside and outside the cab.
Okay, 60 seconds are up. I'm still at 91 PSI. I didn't lose any pounds of pressure, making this a good test. Now I can release my, my service brake. Do not release it unless you stay if it's a good or a bad test. My next test is the low pressure warning device. My light and my launcher turn on between 75 and 55. To perform tests, gonna fan my brakes until my light and my launcher turn on. This one, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read the uh, the gauge as soon as the light and launcher turn on. I'm not gonna wait for it to stabilize. So to perform the test, I'll fan my brakes until it turns on. That's my 75 mark, 70. All right, 70 PSI. My light and my lawn turned on, making a good test because I was between 75 and 55. So next is my uh, spring brake pop out. My spring brake should pop out between 45 and 20. Again, I'm gonna fan my brakes until they pop out and I'm gonna read that gauge. I'm not gonna wait for it to stabilize. Forty-five, forty. 40, all right, at 40 PSI, my spring brakes popped out, making a good test because I was between 45 and 20. So now I gotta do my safe start. Clutch in, put in neutral, and start. Slowly release the clutch. Release it too fast, it's an automatic fail. So now I'm just gonna go straight to my max, which is the cutout. I'm gonna accelerate 12 to 15 RPMs until my needle stops. my max so now my next test is my pet test p for parking e for mercy t for trolley and s for service brake i'll test it in that order clutch in put in gear push in the emergency because i'm testing my parking slowly release the clutch once you feel the tug of vibration means a good test there it is my tug of vibration is a good test so now i'm gonna pull out the emergency Push in the parking because I'm testing my emergency now. Slowly release the clutch. Tug and vibration will be a good test. There it is, the tug and vibration is a good test. So now I'm gonna check my trolley. Pull down the trolley, push in the emergency. Same thing, I'm gonna uh, uh, release the clutch slowly until I feel a tug and vibration. Okay, that tug and vibration means a good test. So now I'm gonna test my service brake. Push in the service brake, push up the trolley. This one's a little different. I'll be going two to five feet. I'm gonna let go of the brake and the clutch at the same time. <clears throat> and then um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go two to five feet and my steering wheel should not move left to right. If it does, that means my brakes need to be adjusted. Let go of the brake, let go of the clutch. So you're gonna move two to five feet, press the brake and the clutch at the same time. My steering wheel did not move left to right, making this a good test. Okay, so now I'm gonna secure my vehicle. Put in neutral, pull out the parking, release the brake, and slowly release the clutch. This concludes my air brake inspection. So now I'm gonna do my in cab inspection. My door, it opens and closes properly. My, mirror, my windows, 
go up and down properly. My mirrors is not cracked, broken, or illegal stickers. The windshield is not cracked, broken, or illegal stickers. The weather seal around it is not ripped or torn to prevent air or water inside my cab. My wipers is not cracked, broken, or missing any parts. The blades is not ripped or torn, and it is working properly. Make sure you squirt the water out. Also, my heater and my defroster is working properly. My brake nozzles are pulled out. My gear shifter is not cracked, broken, or illegally welded. No more than two inches of play. My steering wheel is not cracked, broken, missing any parts. No more than two inches of play. My clutch, no more than two inches of play. My emergency compartment contains three reflecting triangles and extra box of fuse. My fire extinguisher is fully charged at the green, tied and secure with the cotter pin, and the clamp going around my fire extinguisher is uh, is tied and secure to the uh, fire extinguisher and the cab. Now, my air horn for the country, my electric for the city, my left and my right directional signal. Also, my four-way flashes are working properly. My lights, low for the uh, city, high for the country. If I had fog lights, for foggy conditions only. My oil should be between 30 to 60. My water, below 180. My RPM is working properly. My speed, I will check it while I'm in motion. My fuel, enough for the trip. My volts between 12 to 14, and my primary air gauge is to the max. This concludes my air brake and in cab inspection. Can you please help me with my exterior lights? You leave the truck on, the examiner will go outside and start checking your lights. Hey, so you don't gotta do the.